Okay, so to get started with this poncho, you will need to have already made two rectangles that are 10 inches wide and 19 inches long. And this will be for size 2T to 4T. Um, it's very forgiving, really. My daughter is six and still wears hers that she's had sh since she's two. And you can use any crochet stitches you want. It's a very versatile pattern. Um, if you like what I've done, I just did single crochet chain one and I alternated with the rows. It gives it almost a knit look. But when you make your rectangles, when you are finished with your row, you've got your width, make sure you leave a nice long tail because that is what you're going to be sewing with. So I'll take my first rectangle and I'm going to line up my shorter side with the longer side, make sure I got these right, there we go, with the longer side of the, um, the other rectangle, if that makes sense. And I like to make sure my tail, I start on the corners, so that way when I work in, I make sure that I work it evenly. So you just take your yarn needle, Go ahead and thread that. And you're just going to, I think it's called the mattress stitch. I'm not positive. I, I don't sew, I'm a crocheter. But all you do is just work through both rectangles. And if you want to use a different stitch, if you do like sewing, sewing and you don't like this stitch, go for it. You do what you can. Do what you like and works best for you. But you'll basically just sew these two together and all the way up. And then you'll fasten off and you'll weave in your ends. And once you get to that point, um, I'll go ahead and show you where you're going to want to sew the other end. So you can go ahead and pause this and when you come back after you finish that we will work the other side. Okay so now I have finished sewing that together. I am going to take my work and I'm going to flip it over and now I am going to take this long tail from the other rectangle and you're going to take the short end and you're going to crochet it or crochet it, sew it <laughs> to the long end of the other one, the closest side. So basically, once you get it all sewn together, sorry, let me straighten this out a little bit. You're going to get this this shape. That's how it will look. It'll almost look like a heart. So you'll go ahead and sew the short side to the long side. And after that, we will work on the drawstring. And for that, you will need a K hook. If you um, are crocheting, if you knit, then I can show you how to make a chain. I don't knit, so I don't know. You can probably make a chain. But I can show you how to do that actually with your fingers. It's not a problem. Um, so yeah, once you get this side sewn, come back with your yarn and your K hook. And I will show you how to do the drawstring closure. Okay, so now I've got it all sewn together. And you're going to take your K hook and your yarn and you're going to chain between 100 and 125. It kind of depends on how long you want your drawstring. I like mine to be 125. Make sure when you do it, you leave a decent length tail on both ends because you are going to be attaching a big pom-pom to it if you want a pom-pom. Um, I said I'd show you how to do this real quick if you don't have a hook, if you're a knitter and you're making this poncho. You're gonna go ahead and make your um, slip knot. Just do it with your fingers. And then you will take the loop, I'll make it just a little bit bigger, and you're going to 
just pull the tail through the loop and pull it tight. Pull the tail through the loop, pull it tight. Go ahead and adjust the size of your loop. So this is a nice, easy way to be able to make a chain if you don't have a crochet hook. And it takes a little bit longer, but it's fun to um, show the kids how to do this. So you can see it's a little bit tighter of a chain because I was pulling tighter, so make it a little bit longer. But yeah, that's how you would do it. So I'll go ahead and put that to the side. So now that you've got your chain, like I said, I do mine 125 stitches. Um, you're going to want to insert your hook about, pretty right about an inch below this line. And you're going to weave your chain that you've made, your drawstring, in and out of the stitches all around the entire neck of this poncho and so it's a little bit tedious but I just insert pull a little bit through and with the stitch that I used it makes it kind of nice because um, I already have these little spaces that make it nice and easy to pull it through so go ahead and work this all the way around the neck. And then when you're done with that, you just make up some little pom-poms. You can do fur pom-poms. Those are super popular right now. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to make fur pom-poms. Or you can do yarn pom-poms. Or you can just leave it as a drawstring, a string hanging down. It's really up to you. You can make little tassels. I've never made tassels before, but that would be really cute. So I'd love to see um, the different stitches that you guys use. So if you could tag me on Instagram, if you make something with this quick and simple poncho pattern, um, please tag me at Katie's Cozies. I will throw up a link um, or how to spell that. So if you're on Instagram, you can give me a follow. You can tag me in the little projects that you've done. I would really just love to see what you guys are working on. And then once you're done with your drawstring, weaving it through, make sure you uh, weave in all your ends. I haven't done that yet, you can see. And it'll be super, super, super cute. All right, thanks you guys for following along with this tutorial. And like I said, show me your pictures. I can't wait to see them. And until then, happy hooking. And I will see you next week with a new tutorial.